you see the title of this article and I'm gonna post the link on the bottom and you can read the article in its entirety for yourself global abortion surpass 1.1 million in the first 10 days of the year and if you notice in the photo what color is that baby I found that to be quite interesting and you wonder why we have what they call now a global pandemic no one's talking about this type of pandemic they're talking about the coronavirus which this exceeds the coronavirus now I'm not gonna read the entire article I'll put it on the bottom and you can check it out for yourself but I want to bring a few things to your attention abortion was once again the number one cause of death globally in 2020 not the coronavirus but abortion with nearly 43 million unborn babies killed in the womb and then it says abortion leading global cause of death in 2020 with 42.7 million that's killed and you wonder why people are suffering the wrath of God it's not by coincidence now I'm gonna read a few sections of this because I have food in the oven that I don't want to burn but it says abortions in the United States disproportionately target the black population with black children aborted at more than three times the rate of white children now this is for you people out there for you black folk that like to justify abortions that will say, well, white women do it too. White women are abort aborting their children too. Well, I'm going to deal with that in a few minutes. This means that by functional standards, abortion is a deeply racist institution, regardless of the intent of the abortion industry. Now, Joe Biden is pro-abortion. And you guys voted him black folk voted him as their president and you curse Trump and Trump is anti-abortion make sense of that now in this section right here it says among white women and this is for you black people that love to say white women do do it too among white women in the US there are 110 abortions for every 1,000 live births, that's still a lot. Whereas among blacks, there are 335 abortions for every 1,000 births. Blacks are therefore aborted at over three times the rate of whites and more than half of all black deaths in the United States are the result of abortion. Okay, and then it says more than a third, 33.6% of all death by abortions in the United States in 2018 happened to black babies, despite the fact that blacks represent 12.3% of the population. Okay, conversely, non Hispanic whites who make up 60.6% of America's population account for only 37.7% of all U.S. abortions. Now I'm going to read a little small part right here and then I'm going to end it because I smell my food. Now, this is for black people that voted for Joe Biden. Now keep in mind, President Donald Trump is anti-abortion. He's pro-life. But you say Trump is a racist and Trump don't care about black people. But it's telling you right here in Breitbart News, pro-abortion Biden receives cold shoulder from Catholic lay, per lay group. And then it says Catholic lay group denounces bishops. Congratulations. 
to Biden because Biden is in favor of murdering black children. It says, if you're going to curb, check this out. This is mind blowing. Why is this not a wake up call to black people? If you're going to curb population. Now I did a video before I deleted my Fearless 2005 channel and there might be another video that I made after that regarding population reduction and how uh, they were going to uh, reduce the population on earth, right? And they're targeting black people. Blacks and Latinos. Now, Latinos, I know y'all think you're the favorite among white people, but you're in the same boat as the so-called black Americans. It says, if you're going to curb population, it's extremely important not to have it done by the damn Yankees, but by the UN. Now, this is how they're doing it. Because if they do it in America, it's racist. If the UN does it, everybody accepts it. Just like when it comes to the so-called pandemic, the coronavirus, they say, well, the CDC says it, so everybody thinks it's okay. The CDC says it's okay for everybody to wear a mask and you're, you know, you're curving, you know, you're stopping, how do you put it, the, um, you're slowing down the, 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 whatever they call it. So everybody now is walking around with masks on their face can hardly breathe because Fachi or the CDC says that you're slowing the curve. But it says if you're going to curb population, it's extremely important not to have it done by the damn Yankees, but by the UN. Because the thing is, then it's not considered genocide. Look at the route they're taking then it's not considered genocide. If the United States goes to the black man or the yellow man and says, slow down your, your reproduction rate, we're immediately suspected of having ulterior motives to keep the white man dominant in the world. If you can send it in a colorful UN force, you've got much better leverage Gut Matra said. This as Planned Parenthood has continued to employ Gut Matra's strategy, using the United Nations to pressure nations to legalize abortion and selecting black women as a spokesperson to conceal its latent racism. Now, for all you black females out there that's, that, that's always criticizing black men, saying how bad we are, and you're promoting and uplifting the white man, this is how he thinks of you. You think he loves you. But it clearly tells you that Planned Parenthood has continued to employ gut matcha's strategy. Now remember um, the creator of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Singer, and how Hillary Clinton agreed with Margaret Singer to to exterminate black people like we well their dream is still happening because it says Planned Parenthood has continued to employ gut matcha strategy using the, U the United Nations to pressure nations to legalize abortions and selecting black women as a spokesperson to conceal its latent racism and black females fell for it Black women fell for murdering their own children. As a 2015 Wall Street Journal article concluded, if liberal activists and their media allies are going to lecture America about the value of black lives, the staggering disparity in abortion rate ought to be part of this discussion, but that's something that you don't hear about. You know, every they, they, they cloak it under women having rights to their own body. It's my body. They have you thinking that you have the power to be God. And you have many out there that refer to black females as God. So they're giving God the opportunity to make the choice 
to destroy your own seed for their agenda. It doesn't benefit you, it benefits them. But they have to find a way to get inside your mind because once they get inside your head, if they can control your mind, they control the whole body. And that's why we find Democrat blacks out there fighting and burning down businesses and looting because they're controlled. So I found this article to be interesting. I'm going to put it on the bottom and you can check it out for yourself. But you wonder why we're living a global pandemic. This is the reason why. See, the most high, for all you atheist blacks out there, and people that doubt that the most high exists and say that the Bible is plagiarized or it's a fairy tale book, black lives matter to y'all. God loves black babies. And that's why the most high is against this damnable deed of aborting your own child. Now, this video is not going to remain on YouTube. They're more than likely would take it down, but that's okay. Right? But you can share this video. You can click on the Cash App, donate to the channel to keep my paid sites open. Right? So that I can continue spreading this information. Now, I'll download this and upload it onto my WordPress because YouTube more than likely would take it down. I'd be surprised if they wouldn't. But if you notice the image in this, with this, this baby that they're holding up, it's a black baby. The baby's brown. The baby's brown. That's sending out the strongest message right there. And black women or black females are helping to accomplish the white man's goal. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash app, donate to the channel until next time. I'm fearless.